little bit of a temperature. I've been up all night. I never heard you. How are you feeling, Andy? I'd stay away if I were you. Sorry, he's in a bit of a bad mood. He's been up all night being sick, apparently. I'll see you later, anyway. Yeah, I'll see you. Well, you, you better stay home from school, but no coming down to watch TV, OK? Oh, come on. You're going to be late. I don't believe this. What? I'm as ill as he is. Come on! You didn't tell me. Blimey, you snogged Gavin. I never realised. What did Benice say? Well, congratulations and come again. What do you think she said? <laughs> no wonder you disappeared. Morning. Hi. Sleep well? Yeah, great. It's a lovely sofa. Y you don't mind... No, no, be my guest. You're that late from the club. Yeah, sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> Kept her up all night telling me sob story. Boyfriends chucked me out. So what exactly happened with you and this other lad? Luke? Well, I was working over in Skipdale doing a roof. It was a barn conversion. And me and the owner... Look, um, we... I'd better be off. I'm not sure what time I'll be back tonight, so you better sort yourself out some tea. Fine, don't tell me. Well, he was gorgeous. <laughs> you are terrible! All they did was felt his roof. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> right, well, um, better be off. <laughs> it's not funny. I've lost the roof over my head, which, given the job I do, is a bit ironic. No, I'm officially homeless. No, you're not. You can stop here. Won't Zoe mind? No, why should she? I'm going to break my back with this. Well, I can't carry him. How was the camping? Great. Always one for the great outdoors, me. <laughs> right, that's me off. Why are you going to come in for a cup of tea first? You're joking. I want to get some kip. I hardly slept at all last night. Mm. What with being on dawn patrol. <laughs> I kept on hearing funny noises. I think that was probably Benice and Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it then? Fantastic. Camping wasn't bad either. <laughs> You had a good time, then, communing with nature. Oh, yes, it was a bit chilly, but we kept each other warm. I couldn't have asked for a better companion or a more beautiful spot. <laughs> we had a wonderful time, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. OK. Great, what do you think? Look, is there any chance I could get into your house? I could really do the wash. Oh, not really. So I was having a kip. She's not bothering going out today. For a change. I'm sorry about her and Richie. No, you're not. You wouldn't have said it if you were. But you said it's true anyway. You could have just heard him wrong. You want to believe that. Yeah, I know I do. Look, Andy, you may as well just get used to it. Just because they're your parents, it doesn't mean they're decent people. And it doesn't mean you have to like what they do. Look at mine, for example. You don't realise how lucky you are. Just ring your mum and dad. No way. Mum's a policewoman. She'll have the phone traces on the flipping SAS tracking me. You could ring Childline. They won't tell her where you are. No. I can't. Ollie. All you need to do is let her know you're OK. Boo! <laughs> you are going to make a brilliant making. Yeah? A brilliant <laughs> one, yes. <laughs> Can you tell Frankie I dropped all this stuff off? Thanks. It's very good of you. You know, I've just seen one of your lorries going through the village. Oh, good. Means it's running on time. <laughs> you really don't care, do you? I would have thought after what happened to Butch. How many times? This is business. If I don't make a profit, people will lose their jobs. Instead of just their lives. Well... It's an unfortunate accident. It's not going to happen again. You're right, it won't. You mean your little campaign? Well, come on, Cathy, even you've got to admit it's hardly up there with save the whale. <laughs> Just shut up, will you, Chris? You're going to have to start taking me seriously. I am not giving up, not till I've stopped those lorries. Oh? How? Only I don't really see how you can do that. Then I'll fool you. We really did have a good time, didn't we, Tricia? Yeah, 
Unforgettable. In fact, I was saying we should do it again sometime soon. You could come. Oh, Alan, you'd love to go camping, wouldn't you? Well, um... Excuse me. Is he all right? He seems a bit subdued. He had a funny turn yesterday. We thought it was a heart attack at first. Oh, Mum, why didn't you say something? No, don't. He's a little embarrassed. To be honest, he's been avoiding me all day. Why? Well, this funny turn, it was brought on by... overexertion. You didn't. No, it didn't go that far, unfortunately. He feels silly and I... I don't know what to say. Mm. Poor love. I'm right fond of the silly old fool, but seems like I'm bad for him. Mm. I just wondered if you'd heard any more about my melting moment. Not now, Marlon. I have to wait. Yeah, OK, but... Look! I'm... I've already got enough of my plate with this lorry business. If we're going to beat Tate, it's going to take more than Cathy wagging a ponytail in front of him to frighten him off. Hey, hey! I don't see you coming up with any ideas. Hey, hey where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, but your way is usually illegal. I don't believe it. There's gonna be something. Put our minds to it. What the she doing here? <sighs> so, Trisha wasn't at one with nature then? No. She was at one with me. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't find anything that I need. Well, you need to know the system, you see. What system? The sooner we get a proper receptionist, the better. Maybe it's not a new receptionist we need. We're doing fine with the temps, Adam. Anyway, I manage all right. What are you two muttering about? Adam's having problems with his case notes, Zoe. I'm having problems with the mess around here. If people could just put things back in the right place when they're finished with them. Um, People have got better things to do. It's not my job to tidy the office, you know. Stop it, both of you. First of all, it's Frankie and Jason, now you two. Honestly, you're like a couple of kids. Now look what you've done. What? As if she ain't got enough on the plate without you going on. I wasn't... Now there's an attractive girl. Certainly is. One of the dingles, would you believe? Do you know her, then? Mm, well, not professionally. Although all that could change. I just thought I'd drop in and see how you're all doing. Why? Oh, come off it. Don't tell me you're just here to check up on Zach's lumbago. Oh, and I thought you'd be pleased to see me. But the trouble you caused at our butch's funeral. Your idea of trouble, my idea of fun. Yeah, that's what worries me. You're looking good. What poor sucker paid for that lot? Ooh. Hey, how's your Sammy doing? You leave him alone. What's the matter? Feeling jealous? <sighs> oh, come on, don't be so perfect. I were joking. I'll tell you what, I'll get him in here. Not uh, keeping this young lady all yourself, are you, Marlon? She's no lady. Hello, Charity. Do I uh, know you? Hmm. Butcher's funeral, you helped me with a little matter of. Uh, my missing wallet. <laughs> oh, yeah, how could I forget? Uh, on the credit cards. Yeah, that's my favourite parlour game. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> well, I was glad to be a service. If there's anything I can do for you. Forget it, Charity. He's not in the market. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure I can think of her use uh, of her talents. If I set my mind to it. <laughs> You put these up at the bus depot, I'll cover the train station. I've already dropped some off at the Sugdens. Did Sarah have any news? Yeah, she was conked out on the sofa. Didn't stop long. Right, I'm off. What about your dinner? You can wait. <whistles> yeah. Yeah, this is Sean Reynolds. Yeah? When? 
Well, where is she? You know, you treated me like it was some joke. It was all I could do not to hit him. Oh, just ignore Chris. He's not worth worrying about. Oh, he is, Benice. You don't know him. He won't back down, not unless we can make him. Well, I mean, what can you do? He's got every right to run lorries through the village. I'm not saying I agree with him. I'm just saying I don't think you could stop him. I can try. I'll pay all expenses plus a generous fee when you've completed your, um, allotted task. Allotted task? It's not what they usually call it. <coughs> OK, I'll do it. For 250 quid. 150? 200. 180. 200 in cash, or you can do it yourself. Done. 200 on completion. And I want you about in case there's any trouble. And if you cock up and I do get any bother, I want your home address so I can tell police. Is that all? No. I'll, uh, I'll have another G&T, please. Oh, you've got a deal. Ah, oh, uh, Kathy, can I have a word? Oh, I have to be quick, Eric. I'm off to relieve Betty. I just thought you'd like to know. I think I've found a way of stopping the lorries. Really? How? Uh, I, I can't tell you now. I want to keep my secret weapon under wraps. <laughs> oh, very convincing. It's so secret you can't even tell me. I take it that means it's either illegal, silly or possibly both. Hey, I'm trying to be serious. So am I. I haven't got time for messing about, Eric. Excuse me. I mean, she wouldn't tell me anything except that Ollie was OK. They're trying to help, Sean. If it wasn't for Childline, we wouldn't even know she was OK. Anyway, it's their policy. They don't give out locations. I'm Ollie's father. I've got a right to know where my own daughter is. No, you haven't, Sean. You haven't got a right to anything. Yeah, but Ollie could be anywhere. I mean, she could be out in the open, freezing to death. Or in London. King's Cross. Yeah, great place for a 14-year-old kid to be wandering about in. Will you stop it, Sean? Please, it's not helping. You've got to try and stay calm. How can I? When I'm stuck here, not knowing. Well, at least we know she hasn't come to any harm. At least she thought to let us know that means something, Sean. It means she's thinking about us. And in the meantime, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Anything could happen. She's my child. I should be looking out for her. Instead of just stuck here. I, I just want to do something. Just, just get her back. There isn't anything else you can do. I know. So you keep saying. Well, just don't expect me to be happy about it. And you reckon Zolly's gone to London? Oh, hello. How are you feeling? OK. Feeling like having something to eat? Yeah. Can you manage more than one word to me? Maybe. Victoria! It's bath time! You're not ill. I am. Well, then how come you've had five packets of crisps and all the chocolate biscuits? Mum noticed you'd gone. I told her I'd have them for school. Cheers. So you're going to tell me what's up? Look, I'm not stupid. You've been acting weird all day. There's nothing wrong. Come off it. You can try and hide it from them, but you can't hide it from me. Come on, spill it. I can't. Not while Mum's about. Well, she's not here, is she? I just can't. What's it got to do with Mum, anyway? Nothing. It's nothing to do with Mum. Well, I can always go upstairs and ask her. No. It's Ollie. I know where she is. So, who's this councillor what's it in? Eccleston. Let's see him out at the bar. And don't forget, Sam and I will be waiting in the car. You come out as soon as you've taken the photographs of him. Okay. Go on, then. What are you waiting for? Rose tinted glasses. <laughs> hey. Come on. Talk about earning your money. The money for all room, I'd say. And what would you know about it? Uh, do you need to wait, please? Yeah. I'll get that. Came downstairs this morning to find him crashed out on the sofa. 
I won't worry about it, Zoe. You're probably not hanging around for long. Right, that is it. What? I'm ringing the agency. So you're not leaving us, are you? To get a new receptionist. I've just been up to the Wilkinson farm and apparently they've been trying to get in touch with us all week. Hang on. You can't just go employing a new receptionist. Why not? We do need one. Because it's not his job. Frankly, I don't care who does it, just as long as it gets sorted. Zoe, we are the partners. We should decide who gets employed as a receptionist. I'm just trying to help. Trying to take over, that's what you're trying to do. Fine, then you do it. No, no, I wouldn't want to spoil your fun. Oh, for goodness sake, I've had enough. Just let him get on with it. All right, then. Right. Well, if that's what you want to do, then you go ahead. You do it your way. I'm just no, trying... No. All I that's want... your responsibility. Just don't expect any help from me. Well, I think you should go and see Alice if Elsa's invited you. Maybe I'm just not... I'm a bit nervous, to be honest with you. What if she doesn't like me anymore? Oh, don't be silly, Cathy. She loved you. Kids don't forget that easy, no matter what we think. I wish I could be so sure. The longer you leave it, the harder it'll be. Now, just go. You'll enjoy yourself. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. The usual. And a half, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cathy. Hiya. Uh... Wanted to see us. Yeah, let's go over to my place. The quieter over there. Get your drink. Um, no, I'm fine. Let's go. See ya. There you go, Ashley. Like that one. Oh, excuse, excuse me. me. This is silly. You can't keep ignoring each other. Just say something. I can't. Anyway, perhaps it's for the best. Why? But I thought you liked Alan. I do. It's just. What? Me wig. What about it? He doesn't know. Well, he's about the only one. Just tell him. I can't. I've left it too long. I feel daft telling him now. Why? You never bothered hiding it before. It's just been a bit of fun. When Alan went for my film star looks, he was thinking of Marilyn Monroe. You know, gentlemen prefer blondes. Never mind the colour. You've got a lovely head of hair. You're going to have to tell him sometime, Mother. Because if that wig comes off in his hands and you haven't told him, he really will have an heart attack. I'll have to nip back and pick up my stuff. Are you sure this is all right? Of course it is. Sorry, I won't mind. Hi. You want a drink? Please. After the day I've had. I I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get it. Thanks. It's nice to see you again. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't staying. Won't be for long. No, it won't. You have to tell him to leave. Can't. Why not? It's pretty simple. Get lost would do it. Cos I told him he could stay. I'm not just chucking him out on the street. You want me to do it? OK. You tell him to go. I'm going with him. Fine. Don't let me stop you. I mean, he's your mate. We all know how much they mean to you. I'm just your partner. Is this what it's about? You're jealous of him. Well, that half would be stupid. I'm sick of this. How many times have I asked you to go out with me? How many times you say no? You've had the chance, Zoe. If you hadn't noticed, I have to work for a living. Oh, here we go. If I sit around watching telly, you have a go. If I nip out for a pint, you have a go. What do you want, Zoe? I want some peace and quiet. I don't. OK, so you like to go out clubbing? Fine. I just don't expect you to bring the party home. I told you, Jason, I'd know where to stay. Well, book him into a B&B. I thought I did. That's what it feels like to me. You want me to sign a register, tell you at length the mistake? No. All I'm saying is it would have been nice to have been asked. I didn't think I had to. This is my home as much as yours. Well, at least I thought it was. Did you? Do you really see this as your home? Because I flipping do. What do you think I'm doing here? I don't know. I suppose I thought... And this is home, is it? Because it is. Isn't it? Yeah. Great. So I'll tell Jason he can stay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I suppose my job's my life, really. People think it's boring, but it's responsibility. We have to do what we can. Mind you can't please everybody. That sounds fascinating. <laughs> Not sure fascinating is a word. It's not glamorous, that's for sure. 
I'm a councillor, not an MP. Well, you want up on me, jobs I've done. Must be nice, though, you know, serving the community. Well, we can all do our bit. It's just been nice to have somebody to talk to, mm. to be honest. Listen to me, Wolves. You're a good listener. Thanks. You too. Well, it's been really lovely talking to you, but I must go home. Must you? <laughs> well, no. Not really. Nobody to go home to. What about you? No husband or boyfriend waiting? Not married. Don't have a boyfriend. <clears throat> I'm all on my own. Oh? Bit short notice. But I want surprise on our side, Jack. You know what Chris is like. If he finds out what we're up to, he'll be down on us like a ton of bricks. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Little thing like you. Who'd have thought it? Well, I'd me. <laughs> Look, if you two don't want to get involved, I'll understand. Things could get a bit rough. I don't care. My husband were killed by those lorries. I don't want anybody to have to go through that. Yeah. Same goes for me. Just tell us what you want us to do. We could ask Zack. He's got plenty of ideas and ammunition to use. Pick him up being the main one. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't want any violence. Yeah, not to mention the smell. Mind you, Emily's got a point. You know, if we're going to show Chris that we mean business, we're going to have to put on something spectacular. He still doesn't take us seriously, you know. Oh, we will do after this. I said no violence, but apart from that, anything goes as far as I'm concerned. Anything? Yeah, anything. Just so long as we get rid of those trucks. I want this to be a day Chris will never forget. And hopefully none of us will. <laughs>